Yo boys, I got an absolute banger of a video for you today. I'm gonna be giving you my seven most important life lessons. Now I'm only 19 years old and maybe I shouldn't be giving life advice to people, but these lessons have helped me so much in my own life that I feel like I should be sharing them. So let's get into it. So number one, do not care about what anybody thinks. So many people are held back from their true potential because they care too much about what other people think of them. And the crazy thing is, they're not even caring about what those people think. They're thinking about what those people are thinking about them. It doesn't really make sense. And once you realize how little people actually care about you and think about you, but <laughs> that sounds kind of mean, but how little people actually think about you, then you will be truly free. Because everybody thinks that other people are thinking about them, when realistically, everybody is thinking about themselves. Everybody is worried about what everyone else thinks about them. So they don't have time to be thinking of you. You should never let somebody's thoughts hold you back from doing what you want and showing your true potential. I had a friend before and she told me that she would absolutely love to start building a makeup brand, start building a makeup line. And I asked her, I was like, why don't you start doing it? I was like, I can give you tips. I'll look at me creating these weird ass videos. And she said that she's afraid of what people will think. And from that, who knows? She could have lost millions upon millions of dollars because she cared about what people will think. Okay, so number two, focus on what you can control and forget about everything else. I used to spend my time trying to control everything. How people acted, how I acted, um, the outcomes of, of situations, trying to do my best to get everything so it's my way. And then when things didn't go my way, I would be upset and I wouldn't know what to do because I would be out of control. But once I realized that you cannot control what happens to you, but you can control how you react, you become a lot happier. So many people try to control everything and when they can't control something and when it's not going their way, it gives them a an immense amount of anxiety and they're wondering what will happen oh I can't control this will will this happen and it leads to them overthinking and worrying about things that may never happen but what you can control is your career is your health how you react to situations and if you build yourself up and build your mindset and make make yourself the most powerful person then you won't really need to try to control anything outside of your control so number three Discipline beats motivation every time. I remember when I was first starting up my business, I used to watch all these videos to get me hyped up to get ready for work. And it became a bad habit where I could only work if I had the motivation to work. What I do now is I work no matter how I feel. If I'm tired, if I'm stressed, if I'm happy, no matter what it is, I put in the work. The man that goes to the gym, the man that puts in the work every single day, no matter how he feels, will always beat the man that only puts in the work when he feels like it. So learn how to build up that discipline how to do things when you don't feel like doing them and stop relying so much on motivation. Number four, learn sales and marketing and you will never be broke. Look, you can go out there and start up any business, but the backbone of that business will be sales and marketing. If you know how to sell anything and you know how to market anything, then it doesn't really matter what business you start up because you know how to market it, get it in front of eyeballs and you know how to sell it. So whatever it is, Learn sales and marketing and you will be wealthy. Number five, get comfortable being alone. I know so many people right now who they have a bunch of friends and, and we, we chat on nights out and things like that. But once they go home, they become sad, they become depressed because they have nothing to distract them like people around them, like alcohol, like social media. They have none of that when they're completely alone. And that's when the deep thoughts come in. That's when you are truly with yourself and can talk to yourself. And if you're not comfortable being alone, those thoughts that naturally come into your mind will lead to overthinking. And if you don't know how to control your emotions at that point and you're not comfortable being alone, then those thoughts will naturally lead to darker places. But if you can get comfortable being alone, it can be peaceful, it can be calming, it can be such a, a nice experience where you can re-energize yourself and you don't need a constant stimulation in your life. Like when I'm alone, I can have thoughts, 
I can get creative, and I can still improve myself. Whereas other people, when they're alone, they overthink, they get depressed, and they get sad. So get comfortable being by yourself and being alone. Number six, and this is a big one, you gotta take some breaks from social media. I don't think people actually realize how much dopamine you're getting from social media and how it's just an overstimulation of dopamine, where once it's gone, you need it again. Social media has become like a drug to most people. I know people who check their phones even when there isn't a notification popping up. And that's another thing too, silence all your notifications. But I know people who check their phones to see if there's a notification, when they have notifications on and there's no notifications coming up. And I'm like, why, why, why'd you check your phone? There wasn't a notification. Oh, just in case someone texts me. If someone texts you, there's gonna be a notification. So take breaks from social media, whether it's a day, three days, a week, two weeks, even a month. I remember before I'd done a month long break from social media and every single social media that is, and it was, the best feeling in the world doing that dopamine detox not only will it give you more time taking breaks from social media but it leads to less stress in your life and you will also see who your true friends are because if you're not texting them and nobody's texting you there will be that one guy that's like hey what's up you haven't been active recently that's a, that's a true friend there so take breaks from social media do a dopamine detox another video i gotta do soon and number seven our last life lesson of the day be better than you were yesterday or get one percent better every single day because if you were amazing yesterday and you were a hard worker you went to the gym you ate healthy you got good sleep and you're trying to be one percent better than that then by the end of the year you will be exponentially better you will be a whole different person who's more productive who's healthier who's happier who has a better mindset so always look back on yourself from yesterday and only compare yourself to that person. What did you do yesterday that you can do better today? And there's only two people you need to impress in this world. Who you were at eight years old and who you will be at 80 years old. They are some of my important life lessons that I live by on a day-to-day -day basis. I also want to tell you my favorite quote because it does tie into this. So my favorite quote of all time, which I'm going to get tattooed on me, is by Jim Carrey and it says, your need for acceptance will make you invisible in this world. If you are truly trying to be accepted by everybody, you want to be like everybody else, then you are gonna blend right in with them. You ever see those people that are all the exact same? They wear what everybody else is wearing. They do what everybody else is doing. They have no character built up. They're not unique. It's because they're trying to be accepted. And if you're trying to be accepted, you will blend right in. You will never have a chance of being unique or standing out and you will become invisible. So forget your need for acceptance. Forget trying to be accepted by all these people and you do you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other topics that you want me to talk about, then leave them in the comments below and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.